sex education is not just scientific facts. Kids need to be able to practice skills such as assertiveness and how they're going to say no to a partner. How are they going to ask their parents for information when they need it in the future? Those are all leadership skills that we work on within the classroom setting, but in a very fun and creative and informal manner. Talking about um, sex and puberty and changing body is a problem pretty much everywhere in the world. Um, in Madagascar, it's particularly um, difficult for girls and boys to address and talk about these issues, whether it's in school or out of school with their parents, teachers, etc. National statistics show that a third of girls fall pregnant before the age of 18. So that's a remarkable um, number when you think about the impact that falling pregnant before 18 has on a girl's life, on their ability to stay in school, to maintain safe and healthy relationships. We wanted to create a program that addressed that problem of teenage pregnancy, but recognizing all of the other issues that are linked around that. We decided we need to put in place a program in public middle schools targeting kids between the ages of 10 and 15 years old both boys and girls, and give them information about all of these issues, puberty, menstruation, sexual and reproductive health, safe relationships, but at the same time, establish trust um, for them. Who are they going to turn to when they have an issue? So what Projet Jeune Leader decided to do was to place full-time young adults, um, Malagasy, from the community to work in our partner public middle schools in the city. These adults stay in the same school for the entire school year. So they're able to develop trusting relationships with students. They become friends, they become mentors, and they're often the only person in these kids' lives that has the information, but also the enthusiasm and the courage to talk about these issues in a very honest way. What's most innovative about Projet Jeune Leader is we're not just providing kids with information. We're also giving them leadership skills that they can apply in their everyday lives. For instance, you can explain to a young girl how to use a condom. However, what are the other skills that she needs in order to convince her partner to use condoms? That's where the leadership portion comes in. Now we work in 12 public middle schools, and this represents 12,000 um, boys and girls that are benefiting from our program on a day-to-day -day basis in their school. We're very proud that over the past three years in the schools where we've been working, no girl has gotten pregnant. Our long-term goal is that Projet Jeune Leader is the model for sex education in Madagascar, and that the way that we have approached this issue and the strategy that we have in the middle schools becomes the best practice in the country, and why not even beyond Madagascar, um, for addressing these issues with young adolescents.